Round two for Clay and Whitmer. Eagles came out on top the first time they played, hoping for the same result in the softball diamond. Scoreless in the second, Cam Ryder drops down a bunt, brings in a run from Dominique Swain, puts the Eagles up one zip. Top five, Panthers up 4-1. Kenzie Richardson pops it up, drops down. Sophie Weigast hustles home, makes it a 5-1 lead, but Clay is pushing back. Sixth inning, it's 5-4. Nate Krigilski sends it into left. Aubrey Arts makes the snag. Snag the tide to go. Also went three for three at the plate. Bottom of the sixth, same score. Madison Frank, deep to left. Olivia Wenrick scores. Sharon Snow follows suit. It ties it up. Reagan LaPointe does not make the snag. Morgan Cook makes it three runs coming in. Gives them the lead. They score a few more times. 9-5, the final. Clay goes on to win. I was just believing myself. I haven't been hitting well the last couple games, but I just had confidence in myself this game. It's great. We have a good pitching and catching, and we all can hit the ball, and we all can pick each other up. We were just cheering and believing in everybody. Even if you make errors, you just go for the next one. Brad was Nikki, Steve Ronkowitz. What did you see? Well, this was the track showdown we had been waiting for. Round two between the Eagles and the Panthers. And Whitmer looking to come in here and respond. You know the Whitmer Panthers, the defending track champs, having won the last four track titles. But Clay now has swept the season series. Yeah, Clay did a great job. Again, this is kind of a never-say-die Clay sort of team. Got themselves down in this game. Came back with big runs in the fifth and the sixth. Two big innings. This is a team that just really never, you have to look at them on the de offensive side and the defensive side. They play extremely well. Yeah, you had seen the Whitmer Panthers build up a 5-1 lead in that fifth inning, only to see the Eagles respond. My partner pointed out that fifth and sixth inning, well, two big things you take away from those fifth and sixth innings were the fact that the first three batters for Clay reached base in both of those innings. Yeah, and they just put it on the gas pedal after that. Big hits at big times. That's one of the things this Clay team did. They took care of the opportunities when they had them, and they were able to score runs in big bunches. Sophia Wygas for the Whitmer Panthers did go three for four at the plate, but on the clay side, everyone found a way to reach base today. Aubrey Arts, who we talked to, she was three for three in that ninth spot. That's the production that Brenda Radeball is getting throughout her lineup. Yeah, absolutely. And then you talk about the work inside the circle and behind the plate, a couple of freshmen coming up big time. You know, they never got rattled. That's one of the things you had to look at it as far as this clay Eagles team. You know, they may be young at those two positions, but didn't phase them in the least. That's the second loss now for the Whitmer Panthers in conference play while the Clay Eagles improve to 6-1 in the track.